War Diary Day 628 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Just when you think that uh, Ukraine is kind of, it's all over, it's heading towards stalemate, some kind of Russian victory, Ukraine pulls something out of the hat. Um, so, uh, look at the map south of Kherson on the other side of the river. The Russians have been using this to hammer uh, her son. Remember, it was under Russian uh, captivity, a most cruel and horrible captivity. A lot of people were tortured, a lot of people were killed. Um, last September, the Ukrainians were able to kick the Russians out. And then, um, um, and then what they've done is, from the other side of the river, they've hit the city the newly liberated city with an awful lot of ammunition so it's it, uh, people there have had a horrible time but what's happened now is the ukrainians a lot of them ukrainian marines have managed to forge a, a bridgehead there's a place i'm about to mispronounce it. it's called something like kriniki or something like this i can't pronounce it i'm sorry <laughs> but uh they've got a bridgehead over there and the Russians have said, uh, oh, uh, we hit a Humvee, which means that uh, through some magical way, Ukrainians have been able to get some kind of armor. They're getting vehicles across to the other side, which is a terrific feat of arms. And the latest reports are that the Russians are regrouping. Decoded, that means they're retreating. So after an awful summer, uh, and a counteroffensive which feels not stalemated but stalling, the Ukrainians are on the move again. I'd like to say to the the young Ukrainian men and women who are um, doing this, bloody well done. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>